early indication that it's dislocated. We'll see. Doesn't look good. Coach, you're down 10. Um, you don't have any timeouts. It's under a minute. You would need a score, an onside kick, another score. Why is Chris Godwin in the game at that point? Well, he's a player. We're trying to win the ball game. I mean, we were still down 10. We we're trying to get extra points and kick another onside kick. It just happened. What Mike else? going down, we didn't have that many receivers left as it was, so we play what we got. Isn't that even more, perhaps, important to, to preserve Chris for the Falcons if Mike's possibly not going to play? Well, you can say that because he got hurt. Uh, we don't second guess. We got our guys. We're playing everybody we got. And it's unfortunate he got hurt. We feel bad about that, but he's a football player and he wants to be in the game just like Baker and everybody else wanted to be in the game. Do you have an obligation to protect your players from themselves? I do protect my players all the time. That has nothing to do with why we left them in the ball game. We still had a shot to score some points and win the ball game. It happened. It happens in football. What are the early indications on Mike? He's uh, got a hamstring right now. We'll see how bad. The same one that yeah. the nursing? Yeah. Are there any indications that it, that it could be significantly more serious? We'll see. I don't know yet. I got to get all the details. Have you ever been part of a game like this where you've lost two two position players that have meant so much to this team, to a team? I mean, I'm sure. I sure I have. I just haven't really thought about it right now. What turned the game around, time after your ten nothing? We got some big plays. I mean, Lamar got out of the pocket. He made a big play in the passing game. We turned it over twice. Uh, Gave up two big runs in the second half to Henry, and the game, game kind of got away from us. With a team that was undoubtedly very shaken up after watching, Chris, what did you say to the guys in the locker room? What can you say to them after something like that happens? Well, our prayers are out for him. Chris is a hell of a player, and he's a hell of a human being, even more so than that. There's not much you can say. You feel bad for him, and unfortunately, they're not going to cancel the games, and we got to step up and move on, but our hearts are heavy. How hard is it to knowing the kind of season that he's had and also what he went through this offseason? He was having a hell of a season. It's unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate. Todd, obviously they've, they've got a lot of weapons. What were you thinking game plan wise tonight and what, what did they do so well to beat him? They got playmakers. I mean, they got playmakers. We held them down some and they got some plays and the plays they got. Uh, they got great players, and we misfit some things. So the combination of both, you know, it doesn't it doesn't bode well. Ty, do you have some some busts in coverage? Is that safe to say? We had one or two. Do we know if Chris is going to the hospital after this? I have no more information at this time. You think, uh, Todd? You think uh, as the game went on, um, Henry kind of wore wore you guys out? Uh, on we misfit two plays, and he got two big runs. He we misfit two plays. He's a hell of a player. Don't get me wrong. He is a great, great player. And hats off to him because he knows how to cut it back and make those type of plays. And we misfit him. How big is your challenge without Mike, without Chris? It's gonna be tough. I mean, our, our young guys got to get experience real fast. It's gonna be tough, and we see what we're dealing with, and we'll make adjustments during the week, and we got to move on. Do you, you think with Jason to try to find a receiver before the trade deadline? We'll definitely look and see what's out there.